In this lesson, we're going to talk about mental strategies. Now that we're secure that the child actually knows how to use the symbols, how to use the numbers, how to record that sentence in a form more formal way, we want to think about developing those mental strategies. At a very early age, we want to instill the idea that there is a time and place for mental strategies, but there's also a time and place for written methods. It's very important to start developing that idea from a very young age so that children actually, as they go through their mathematical journey, they can start to make that decision of when is appropriate for mental and when is appropriate for written and when is appropriate to use a combination of them both. But we want to start getting the idea of actually using mental strategies and actually visualizing numbers and methods really in their heads. And we're going to start with um, just a few simple strategies for adding and subtracting one more. And we will explore it further in different lessons, but we just really want to focus on that adding one more and actually helping children visualize that process in their minds. So we're gonna start very simply with thinking about fingers again. And we've talked about fingers before. And again, I would start and revisit that idea of what is three plus one? And they put their three fingers up and their one finger and they put it together. What we then want to start getting the child to do is to start thinking about actually imagining those fingers in their head, imagining them, imagining them coming together in their heads and actually starting to visualize that. And the more you talk through with your child, the more they will actually be able to do that. And actually they may still look at their fingers, but they'll not physically be counting the fingers out and putting them together. They might be looking at their fingers to help them visualize. And that is a really good step and a really good process to try and encourage with your child. Once they start to get that idea of actually visualizing the fingers in their head and actually maybe even looking at their fingers to help them, they can then move on to the process of counting on now counting on is a really good process because it actually gets the children thinking about sequencing of numbers, order of numbers and all of those mathematical skills. So what we want to do is actually again move towards that visualisation and this is the perfect opportunity to talk about how putting the biggest number first is a very good strategy for mental maths when using addition because obviously putting the biggest number in your head actually means that you're already on a very good starting point. And I would encourage children to do this again from the very start. So even give your children maybe some calculations that are mixed up that have the biggest number first and have the biggest number second and actually ask them which number is going to go first and why and actually start getting that process put into their minds. Once they've done that, we want to encourage them to put the biggest number in their head. So we're saying we're putting four in our head and we're adding on one. So you're going to put one on your fingers. So you're going to say four, five. Then they get to the five and one and you're going to say put the biggest number first. So clearly five is going to go into their head and they're going to say five, six. The more you go through this process and the more you practice this process, the children will start to get rid of that finger and they won't need it anymore because they'll realize that it is just the process of counting on and they'll start to realize and be able to visualize that in their heads without having the physical counting on. Although encourage them to use the counting on until they feel secure with that, there's absolutely no problem. Once they've done that, we can then start to think about the subtraction element. And again, I would go back to starting with the fingers where they put up their fingers and they do five take away one or five subtract one, and they actually physically take away the one and realize they've only got four left. Go through that and practice that. And then we want to think about the counting back. Now, before I would start really introducing this method to your child, I would actually need to, you need to ensure that your child can actually count back. Counting back is a lot more difficult for children and it actually does take them a while and a lot of practice to be able to count back. So you can play little games like rockets blasting off to do the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and actually make sure that your child is secure with that before actually starting this strategy. So then again, you want to visualize those numbers in your head. You want to say five, take away one. We then talk about the fact that in subtraction, you always need to put the biggest number first. Um, because again, that's obviously a strategy that we need to know and a fact that children need to know about subtraction. So they're putting the biggest number in their head and taking away the smaller number. So they will say five, counting back, four. 
And again, you're developing all that mathematical language, what number comes before, what number comes after, which number comes in between, and you're using all those skills and all that mathematical language that you've actually been practicing all the way along this journey and then putting it into practice. So again, just to go through the process, starting with the fingers, doing the counting on, and then moving on to the counting back. And obviously as the calculations get more difficult, we can introduce bigger steps and bigger jumps and bigger visualizations in their head. But at the minute, because we're only focusing on a very small number, it is literally just that number before, that number after, and actually starting to think about those strategies in their heads. But again, it's just all about practice and actually building your child's confidence. Music